Welcome back to Black Cat Crypto Club. Guys, I posted my previous video today with the caption that Bitcoin was set to blast off. And within just a few minutes of it uploading and posting to YouTube, it blasted off. So um, I, I was kind of looking at all the charts and more interesting than Bitcoin going up is actually the amount that a Ethereum has gone up and I was kind of thinking to myself, what's going on? Like Ethereum is set to have that Ethereum ETF approval or denial at the end of this week, but I didn't, I hadn't heard anything. So I got on and I checked all my news sources and I think I have found out what's going on with Ethereum. So we're going to get into that. But before we get into that, I just want to show you guys the charts here we just you know we were about we were right about here when i was recording that uh sorry right about here when i was recording that uh last video and so you can just see that it, it just blew up we got all the way up to seventy thousand four hundred and twenty one now this hour, we've been kind of pulling back off that. We're at about 69.6. But guys, look at Ethereum. I mean, that <laughs> is just a magnificent candle right there. And they haven't really pulled back on Ethereum. So this begs the question, what is going on with Ethereum? I kind of mentioned in my last video that I actually didn't see them approving the e e ETFs this week. So what's going on with Ethereum? I'm going to jump over to uh, Twitter. Now, Eric Balchunas and James Seyfert right here. These two guys are the ETF analysts for Bloomberg. And through the entire um, application process of these Ethereum ETFs, Eric Balchunas and James Seyfert have only given Ethereum a 25% chance of approval. And so this is, this is what's going on, guys. Eric Balchunas just about an hour ago posted, update, James Seyfert and I are increasing our odds of spot Ether ETF approval to 75%, up from 25%. Hearing the chatter this afternoon that SEC could be doing a 180 on this increasingly political issue. So now everyone's scrambling like us, everyone they else assumed they'd be denied. Says C. Nate's tweet below for probable order of events. But again, we are capping at 75% until we see more. Example, filing updates. So guys, this... This is crazy. Um, <laughs> considering the SEC, uh, their enforcement actions recently against MetaMask and Ethereum-based wallet um, and some of their other enforcements lately just really pointed to the fact that Gary Gensler and the SEC just didn't, hadn't lost all of their fight yet. but like Eric Balchunas and uh, James Safer are saying that they're they're hearing more and more chatter now that the SEC is about to do a 180. And it's like I said in my last video, you know, could the SEC flip on this? Because now all of a sudden with these new bills being introduced, uh, you know, their repeal of their the SEC's um, rule that banks couldn't hold or couldn't custody um, Bitcoin and digital assets. Now that Congress is Congress is pushing back against the SEC, now that we're seeing senators and, and House of Representatives coming hard against the SEC, could Gary kind of feel that pressure and flip on these Ethereum ETFs? And maybe that's what we're seeing. Um, but, you know, it, it is reputable, to say the least, that 
Eric Balchunas, if they're hearing chatter about this and they're increasing their odds of an Ethereum ETF approval 200%, and what I mean by 200% is they only gave it a 25% chance approval from the beginning of these ETFs. It hasn't wavered since then. They just, they've been saying the entire time, 25% is what, what our, our odds are. And now all of a sudden the week of these deadlines, they jumped that number to 75%, not 100% to 50%, but 200% over their original bet. They're sitting at 75%. So this is just crazy, guys. I don't know what they're hearing. It'd be nice if if uh, Eric Balchunas and, and James Seyfert came forward and said, you know, this is what we're hearing behind the scenes, but I don't know if they're even legally allowed to say that kind of thing. But something is happening behind the scenes. So that is what is going on with Ethereum, probably feeding into Bitcoin's and all of the other cryptocurrencies um, rise today as well. So positive for the entire industry. But like I said, um, going back over to TradeView, if we just kind of look here, I mean, Bitcoin's up 4.7. Ethereum's up 12.5, guys. Solana's up 9. And this is a big difference from what Ethereum has been doing this entire cycle you know ethereum has really been kind of the lagging coin in this cycle not that i don't like it i am pretty heavily invested in in ethereum uh not more than bitcoin and with solana's increase lately not more than solana but um yeah it just hasn't been it hasn't been performing like everything else. And now all of a sudden it's leading the way. So something's definitely going on. It'll be exciting to watch what happens this week. Um, but guys, if, if you could, please remember to go over to Olive Branch uh, it's Animal Sanctuary. As always, guys, I am kind of spotlighting these guys as a sanctuary that I'm trying to help out this month. Uh, th all of their links are in the description. So you can go over to their PayPal, their Venmo. You can get something off of their Amazon or Chewy wish list and, list and send it to them directly. Uh, um, but guys, I, I don't, I will never ask you guys for money personally. I don't need your money, but this is something that's important to me. So if you guys find any value at all in my videos, I would greatly appreciate it. Even if you just send a dollar or two over to these guys, these guys are a small sanctuary. So if you guys find any value in my videos, if I'm providing any kind of value to you, please just consider it. Um, it, it means a lot to me to help out these, these animal sanctuaries and help out the animals that are, have been abused and abandoned that end up at these sanctuaries. So go over and support those guys if you can, please. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.